Oh, thank you, Father, for this hour. Thank you, Jesus, for your faithfulness again. We give you praise, Father, for another moment in your presence. Another El Shaddai broadcast hour. We thank you, Father, for bringing us again to this same platform again for a broadcast. We thank you, Jesus, because you are faithful. We thank you for your loving kindness upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Let's thank you again. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's give him praise and honor for his faithful, for his good, for his kind. Let's worship his name. Let's give him glory. Marika Baragados in Kabalanamo Shanta Legados. Linda Balosco Balegados and Tekete Ligadosco Baregadendos in Paragada. Manta Legadosh, in Balagadandos, and Tolagados. Zegede, Gelegados, in Procotun de Veligadundos, and Pragada. Zegede, Shaka Baragadandos, Zondologados. Legadondos, and Kabalagadan de Legadesh. In Talagadan de Legadesh. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory. We give you other honor. Because in the name of Jesus, every chain shall be broken. In the name of Jesus, every cause shall free. In the name of Jesus, every captivity of the evil one shall be destroyed. Thank you, precious Father and God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Because it's the dawn of a new era. Even in this pandemic, Father, you have proved yourself mighty. You have proved yourself gracious. We give you all the glory, Father. Thank you, the El Shaddai. Thank you, the immortal Redeemer. Thank you, the Prince of Glory. Thank you because you are God. Receive all our praises. Receive all our thanksgiving. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. Let's thank him. Let's worship his name. When we approach before the King, the first thing that we do is to thank him, is to worship him, is to bow to him. He deserves all the praises. He deserves all the honor. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Redeemer and friend. Receive all the glory. In Barabakato Zukoton de Lenemanda Legada. Let everyone that has a living breath exalt him. Exalt him for his love. Exalt him for his faithfulness. He is the one that has kept us by his mighty arm. We give you all the praise, Father. You are the Almighty, the Jehovah Nisi, the Jehovah Lapha, the Jehovah Bethel, the Jehovah Gilga, the Prince of Peace, the Prince in Power, the Lord of Hosts. We worship your Father. We give you all the praise. Jangandundun the Legados, Kelebadagadandos Zekete, Leketundos Escoporogodos. Legadesh, a 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 legadesh, manta legadendos kabal legadesh. We give you all the praise, Father. We give you all the honor. Receive all the praises for this wonderful new day. Thank you for your loving kindness, Father. We have come again to draw from you. Be thou exalted. Thank you, Jesus. Be thou exalted, Father. Thank you for your love. Brethren, in this section of the El Shaddai broadcast hour, God has a word for you. God has a word for your family. We have come again to draw from him. We have come again to draw from his presence. We have come again to draw from the throne of grace. We have come to draw from his streams again. We have come to receive strength from him. We have come to draw from the Lord of hosts again. We have come again. And this broadcast hour, we are looking at something powerful again. Something that the Lord was raising seriously for this hour. 
especially in this pandemic. We have seen about redemption. We have seen about the anointing in our previous podcast. We have seen about the transforming power of faith. We have seen about the kingdom come, thy kingdom come. Today, there is a prophetic word from the Lord. And that prophetic word is a titled message, which is the siege is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. I don't know the siege you have been facing in this season. The siege we are experiencing grow barren. As we have come to draw from this throne of grace, there is a word from God. And that word is this. Rejoice, brethren. The siege is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. We are going to see our anchor scripture for this broadcast, which is Second Kings chapter 6 from verse 24 to Second Kings 7 verse 1. Second Kings chapter 6 from verse 24. Second Kings chapter 6 is a popular scripture. A popular scripture. I'm going to read from the King James Version, the authorized version. We are looking at a topic that says the siege is over. The siege is over. Yes, Lord. We have come again, Father. Shata Kalagados. To draw from you, to draw from you, Father. We have come to draw. We renew our strength again. We renew, we renew again our strength from your secret place. Are you from King James? Come King C strength four. And it came to pass that Benhadad, king of Syria, gathered all his host and went up and besieged Samaria. And there was a great famine in Samaria. And behold, they besieged it until an ass head was sold for four copies of silver and the fourth part of a cap of dove's dung for five pieces of silver and as the king of israel was passing by upon the wall they there cried a woman unto him saying help my lord O king we are in a season in which is a see that there is a global siege in the economy of the nation a global siege in the movement of people a global siege in the affairs and a great famine has besieged the, the the continent of the world from africa to europe to north america to australia to all the various four cardinal points of earth that is a working of darkness this in this in in this pandemic that is a great siege a great siege a great siege just as just as what's happened in this scripture in second kings and people are now asking question how can help come but my dear sinner this morning god is saying that the help is coming your way the help is coming your way ebenezer is coming your way the lord shall help you the lord shall be your strength now the lord shall be your hope let's go back to our anchor scripture that same second Kings chapter 6, verse 26b. He says, Help my Lord, O King. And he says, If the Lord did not help thee, when shall I help thee? Out of the bound floor or out of the wine press. This king was a spiritual man. He was a spiritual man. Because he knew that help cannot come except from the Lord. I want to announce to you, my dear Rich, in this broadcast, in this hour, help cannot come except help come from the Lord. Verse 28, he says, And the king said unto her, What erect thee? And she answered, This woman said unto me, Give thy son, that we may eat him today, and we shall eat my son tomorrow. So we boiled my son and did eat him. And I said unto her on the next day, Give thy son that we may eat him. And she had hid her son 
And it came to pass when the king heard the words of the woman that he lent his clothes and he passed upon the wall. And the people looked, and behold, he had sacred within upon his flesh. Then he said, Go do so, and more also to me, if the head of Elisha, the son of Shephat, shall stand on him this day. But Elisha sat in his house. Just as this season, the prophetic is coming to your house. The prophetic men are in the place of prayer and there is a word coming and that word is the siege is over the bible says believe the prophet and thou shall prosper the word that is condescend season is is just as the noisome pestilence is bringing a siege the time has come and the time is now and the word that is coming is this by the instrumentality of god the siege is over in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's see what the prophet Elisha replied to the king in that same Second Kings chapter 6, verse, verse 3. And while he yet talked with him, behold, the messenger came down to him and said, Behold, this evil is of the lord why should i wait for the lord any longer chapter 7 verse 1 then elisha said hear ye the word of the lord thus say ye the lord tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel and two measure of berry for a shekel in the gate of samaria then a rod on whose hand the king green answered the man of God and said, Behold, if the Lord will make windows in heaven, my these things be. And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but shall not eat thereof. And there we are four reprosed men. Let me tell you something. Those that will bring change in this pandemic and bring the transformation are not even the trusted one they're not the scientists they're not the professors they're not the men in high places those that god will use to bring an end to this pandemic are those from the unexpected waters just as this case in second kings are seven four reprost men at the gate there was something that stirred and they went and discovered that the siege is over. Let's continue from that scripture again. That's in 2 Kings chapter 7 from verse 3. And there were four reprosed men at the entering in of the gate. And they said one to another, Why sit we here until we die? If we say we will enter into the city, then the farmer is in the city and we shall die there. And if we sit still here, we die also. Now therefore come, let us fall unto the host of the Syrians. If they save us alive, we shall live. And if they kill us, we shall not die. What will bring a change to your circumstances in this global siege is daring faith. Faith to push on. Faith to encounter God. Faith to experience what god is saying through his word from the moment let's see verse 18 that's what called second king seven because of our time second king seven verse 18 and it came to pass as the man of god has spoken to the king saying two measure of berry for a shekel and a measure of fine flour for a shekel so be it tomorrow about this time in the gate of Samaria. And the Lord answered the man of God. And that Lord answered the man of God and said, Now and behold, if the Lord should make windows in heaven, might such a thing be? And he said, Behold, thou shalt see it with thy eyes, but shall not eat thereof. So there is need for a, for a living faith. A living faith 
to encounter the promises of God. And that promise from God is that the siege is over. The siege is over. The siege. The siege is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. Shaka Baranama. Zekete in Kabanda Legadesh. The siege is over. The siege is over. The siege is over. Let's continue again. What is a siege? A siege is a brocade. A siege is an embargo. A siege is a limitation. A siege is a suspense. A siege is a bend. A siege is a demonic attack from all expected from unexpected quarter. A siege is a retardation. A siege is a career dysfunction. A siege is a family trouble. A siege is a spiritual stagnancy. A siege is a failure. A siege is a stress. A siege is a marital war. A siege is a generational curse. That is what a siege is. And the only thing that can bring down a siege is the prophetic might. The only thing that can bring down a siege is the word from God. What brings about a siege is the work of demons. What brings about a siege is the activity of sin. What brings about a siege is the unrepentant idol in the heart of men. What brings about a siege is the shameful garment of reproach that men wear. What brings about a siege is disobedience. What brings about a siege is demonic pattern. And I declare to somebody under the influence of my voice, Ziganda Rakandos exerted, Reketondos in Kabbalah Whatsoever is like a pattern in your life, whatsoever is like a siege in your life, in the name that is above every other name, in the name of Jesus, such siege is broken. Such siege is broken. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right from the time of the creation of men, is God's will that men will progress. Is God's will that men will not suffer reproaches and retrospection. We're going to see a scripture again. Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. It says in Genesis 1, verse 31. And God saw everything he had made. And behold, it was good. And God saw everything that he had made. And behold, it was good. So anything that is not good, anything that is not present, anything that is not wonderful, is a siege. That was why the Bible says, for we are wonderful and fearfully made by God. So anything that brings a twist, a bending, a yoke, an embargo is a siege. Just as we saw in that scripture, 
that when God created the earth, he looked and everything, everything was good. But what brings about a siege is the activity of demons and the works of darkness. That was why in the Bible, in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 3, the Bible says, Though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk according to the flesh. That means even though we experience problems physically, the origins of such problem or unseen battle is as a result of the activities of the works of the evil one. God is great right from the time of creation he wants men to walk in glory anything that is not great in your life is as a result of siege a siege can be as a result of self infliction on men. Anyone living a life of sin, a life of iniquity, is under a siege. Anyone living a life of procrastination is under a siege. Those kind of siege are called self inflicted siege. Then there's also sieges that comes as a result of the activities of the kingdom of darkness. That is why this evening, this morning, in this broadcast hour, God wants to move again and break every siege in your life. Anything that is like an embargo anything that is like the work of darkness a siege is an evil dominion a siege is an evil force controlling people's movement a siege is a limitation against success a siege is a level determinator in the spirit. A siege is a fearful distress. That was why the Bible says that the enemies shall submit to us and from their hidden places free. That is why the Bible says, Great deliverance does the Lord love through his servant in Psalm 18, verse 50. How then can a man be free from the siege? Number one, you must repent from all your wicked ways. You must repent from all the works of the flesh. You must repent from all known iniquity and sin. You must repent from a life of double standard. You must repent from the life of lying, life of fornication, life of addiction, life, life of sexual perversion. You must repent from all kinds of evil lifestyle that does not connote the kingdom lifestyle. That's the first step that is needed for a repentance. A repentance that means a change of mind and change of direction unto holiness. Number two. For a freedom from a siege, a man must call upon the name of the Lord. Let's see Psalm 18 verse 3. A man must call upon 
the name of the Lord. Bible says that he that calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Just as they went and met Elisha in our anchor scripture, and the prophetic word came. There must be the, the action of the prophetic man to, to break a siege. And the action of man to call upon God. Psalm 18 verse 3 says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. So for there to be a freedom from a satanic siege, man must call upon the name of the Lord. Man must call upon the name of the Lord. Calling upon the name of the Lord in the place of prayer. In Takundu Dalika Balagadaya. Zegedenda Lokondos Escoparaga. Calling upon God in territories. Calling upon God in your place of prayer. Calling upon God continuously and consistently. Calling upon God to bring a transformation. Calling upon God to bring a change. For a siege to be over, man must call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon his mercies. Call upon his promises. Let's continue. For a siege to be over, man must pray destiny restoration prayers. Man must pray destiny restoration prayers. For a siege to be broken, man must pray destiny restoration prayer. For a siege to be broken, man must call upon God in the praise of their praying altar. Let's see under scripture. Let's see John 14 verse 14. John 14 verse 14. John 14 verse 14 says, If ye shall ask anything in my name i will do it that's an open check god is saying jesus is saying if ye shall ask anything is an open check in my name i will do it for a siege to be broken man must ask god to bring an end to it that is why it's important for the church to unite and start calling upon God. And until we unite in our various diversity, our change cannot come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Oh, we give you praise. We give you all the honor. Indeed, you are faithful. Zegadenda lagadosh, kala baba babu, shatan de legade, leneman de legadesh, zegadenda likabando logodosh. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this evening. Thank you because, Lord, you are raining men again. You are bringing men to the place of prayer. Thank you for what you have promised us that the siege is over. And we agree in the place of prayer. That whatsoever is like a siege in the affairs of our nation, whatever that is like a siege in the life of men, whatsoever that is like a siege, grow body. This same hour, such siege is broken, such works of the kingdom of darkness, such works of the evil one. As we call upon your name, let such siege be broken. In the name of Jesus. We'll continue. Bible says again. 
in Isaiah 49 from verse 24 to 25 about the promise of God. What brings an end to a siege is the understanding of the covenant promises of God. The promise of God are yea and amen. So number four, we are talking about repentance, we are talking about calling upon God, we are talking about praying, destiny, restoration prayer, and rebuilding the altar of prayer. The fourth thing again that brings an end to a siege is standing on God's restorative promises. God's promises. God's promises. God's promises is very important. In Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 25, the Bible says, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the captive of the righteous be delivered? But thus say ye the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away. And the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. So it's God's way, just as we saw again in Genesis 1 verse 31. That is God's will to do everything to be good. So is God's promises that there will be deliverance. Is God's promises that we shall be delivered out of the captivity of the evil one, out of the agenda of the enemy, especially in this pandemic. So we're going to call upon God and his name and i strongly believe that every siege shall be broken every yoke shall be set free in the name of jesus amen and that thing again that we need to note again for a siege to be over is that men needs to bring about the throne of God in the life of men. Because a siege is a throne. A siege is activated by thrones, thrones, thrones. Thrones, thrones. So men that destroy sieges in territories, in nation, are aggressive men. They are men that have that have and possess a fighting spirit. It's time again for us as Christians. To bring the throne of God and the throne the workings of darkness. I trust God strongly and I'm believing that in this pandemic, the Almighty is raising strategic, mighty warriors, strategic servants that he will use to destroy the works of darkness. Strategic warriors that he will use to bring to pass the promises of God which are yea and amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, 
Wherever you are connecting from, wherever you are connecting from, let's connect again and pray in the Holy Ghost. Shagada balaga down the leg of this. The Bible says, build up your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Rise, pray in the Spirit. If you are, if you are baptized in the Holy Ghost, rise, pray in the Spirit. If you are trusting God again for a revival of your prayer altar, as you connect and we pray in the Holy Ghost, there's going to be a quickening in your spiritual life. If you are trusting God for the baptism of the Holy Ghost, as you pray, there's going to be a church again of, of God again and a quickening, a revival out of your body again shall flow streams of living water. As you pray in the spirit again for the next five minutes, I'm trusting God the workings of angels that will envelop your house, your territory, and bring a strategic miracle this same hour. Oh, thank you, Father. Marie Cabando Legados. Keleman Dolin the Bandos in Cabado Legados. Zeneke Balagadash. Zegeda Legadash. Legadon the Zon the Legade. In Cabalanaman the Legadash. Leketan the Legadan the Zan the Legadash. Macabalagadan the Zon the Legadash. In Cabale Bala Bala Balagada. Zagabala Baba Babo Zon the Legadash. Jababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababababab
Elemanandos, 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 Kuremosko, 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 Zuelebelebelegados, Kaligados, Shapalebelebelegados, Kuremanamalagados, Kalanamando Dodos, Zebelebelebelebelebelos, Zuelebelebelegados, Kando Legados, Kunda Veleb, Kelebo Zonto Legados, Elebandosco Balagada. Elegadash, 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 Akapala Balabalagada, Zenkalenebalagadandos Kupalagadash, Libados Kotosko Baligadosko, Zelegadendos Kalegadash, Kalabadadash, Mandele Balagadash, Inca Belegadash, Inca Belegadash, Inca Belegadash, Inca Banda Legadash, Inca Banda Legadash, Kolobologado, Hayabalabalabalagada. Le bolegados ko balagadondes ko balagada, ele balagada skotos ka balagada, iya katos ko galigados ko balagada, ele gade shanto legados kunde velebesh, vende belegados, 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 ja ka 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 ka, zubroto to to to, zonto loko to 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 zake. Lekatendos kupranda, jaka kapala kaka, zoko toto to, jaki leketusko, imbrosko, 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 zuele belekates, zuele bekalesko, zuele bekestos, kelenandos kosko paliga, jaketosko, elenden don 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 squa, skaisko, suarisko, suarisko. Suarisco, 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 Jagados Coto Baracatosco, Jacacaca, Maracatusco, Zundos Condosco Para, Zundos Cosco Parasco. Mmm, Cala Calaba Chatale. Poroscopelesco, 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 Shaka Parabaracata, Cari Balagadasco to Legada, Squala Balabalagada, Teleban de Legadash. That the attitude of angels is released again. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The attitude of the of the horses, the horses, the horses that we saw, the horses that we saw, the horses that we saw in Second Kings seven, those angelic wind that sent the sound that brought the end of the siege. This some hour we release the activities of angels. In the affairs of the nation, Shabire Belagaya Gaya, Raprokoko Balagada, to breathe again and let the wind of darkness be blown away, be blown away, be blown away, be blown away, Shakila Baraka Kalabalagada, Kalabayegedo, Shantu Elegadesh. Parika parekus kopara gadian deskuda elinda nos kuska zeli katandos kondos efe pra efe pra kaya shaka talabaya karabala katoskuto. Thank you, Father. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. God is saying someone under this podcast is receiving a fresh touch. 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 To set his throat with our brains again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For such a one. For such a one. Receive it. Receive impartation again. Jekeke belekete. Zanemalabalabalagados. 
Kalabrondo Sotunda Lagadesh, Lanamando Le Catus Caparegadesh, Jan de Nemonos, Jan de Nemonos, Elesco, 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 Eresco, Bashka, Pashka, Carrera, Kilelebondo Soto Legade, for the siege is over. We are still going to, to continue again. When the siege is over, there is deliverance. When the siege is over, limitations are destroyed. When the siege is over, Joy is restored. When the siege is over, people's life receives double honor. When the siege is over, there is happiness. When the siege is over, just as what the Bible says in the book of Zechariah 9, 11 and also in 13, there is a double rejoicing of the prisoners of hope. Just as what the Bible also made clear, in Isaiah 42, in Isaiah 42, in Isaiah 42, in Isaiah 42, verse 22, that there are people in Isaiah 42 verse 22 that there are people that are robbed and spoiled that are in snares in prison house and are under oppressions when the siege is over by the restoration apostolic move there is joy in the land and that is why this evening this this um, are in this broadcast i don't know what is that issue in your life god is saying as the siege is being lifted whatsoever has been taken from you whatsoever has been stolen from you whatsoever that the canker worm and the caterpillars has taken whatsoever is like a loss in your business in your family, in your career, this same hour, such siege is lifted. And as the siege is lifted, whatsoever that is like a loss to you, God is saying, double restoration is coming, double hope is coming, double joy is coming, mighty hope is being lifted in the name of of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Marika Balegadesh. Oh, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Shata Balegadesh. Shanda Legadesh. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Oh, for the seed is broken. This seed is broken. Manda legade. Oh, and that thing that destroys the siege. As we saw yesterday and in the previous time in the podcast, is the instrumentality of the blood. Of the blood. 
of the blood. 2,000 years ago, Jesus died. And in accordance with Colossians 2, 14 to 15, he has crushed principalities and powers. He has crushed the works of darkness. That was why when he ascended on high, he read captivity captives. He has already established authority and he has given us power to trample upon serpents and scorpions. That is why, as we are going to start praying this same hour again, whatsoever is like a witchcraft siege, whatsoever that is like an occultic siege, whatsoever that is like a, a serpentine siege from the waters, whatsoever that is like a destiny limitation siege, Whatsoever that is like a generational hindrance, whatsoever that is like a marital siege, whatsoever like an environmental territorial siege, in the name of Jesus, we come against them. 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 You ancestral siege, you occultic siege, you marine siege, you environmental siege, you economic siege, you national siege, you witchcraft siege, you evil powers in the land, you evil power in the waters, bringing to pass manipulations and diversions of destiny and siege. This same hour, we come against you. We come against you by the authority in the name of Jesus. We remove the life of men from your from from your domain. We remove the life of men from your inferences. We remove the life of men from your inferences. Akali kabaro shotu alagada ya. Jananananana shakapalagada. Eleketa eleketa. By the victory of Calvary, in no 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 beliga, in no broken doors well again. Eku to the kula kula kandos, zakete da 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 do soto belaga. Zane zane ganale bosco kalendo skoto. By the blood of the new covenant, we come against you siege against prayer. Bible says, and Daniel prayed, and the prince of Persia arose. You prince in the air, you prince in the air, you prince in the air, you prince of Persia, you prince of Nigeria, you prince of Africa, you prince of America, you prince of Europe, you prince of all the continents of the earth, you continental intercontinental forces backed by the waters. We raise a, a token of the blood of Jesus against you, against your blood banks, and declare your activity in the affairs of a nation is over, it's over, it's over, it's over. Makapara paya karakaya. Shelelelebo shokoko bayada. Ekundo sondondo suwe ekuya. Jelika kundo sundelebe. E konto sakalabaya. Shandele kilabandos e pelegadesh. Shakabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalabalab
and declare by the fire of God the restoration of the destinies of men, the restoration of the purpose of men, the restoration of the destinies of men. Now, now, rule your hold. 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 Go in the name of Jesus. Into a layer, into a layer. Oh, my shaka palagada. By the sword of God, we pronounce judgment as against the workings of darkness once again. And we declare and declare salvation has come, victory has come. Bible says, and the and and as the altar incense was being raised, the angel of death that stood against Israel with hold his arm. We declare, you angel of death, you angel of the grave, you Kira angel, assigned against America are signed against Europe backing the workings of Corona proceed no more further proceed no more further your siege is over we send you back to hell proceed no more further for the earth is a lot the earth is a lot and the fullness thereof Arika para bala bala gadosh. Zenenemo no kundu zuntu dundu ziparaga. Eleboshko, eleboshko, eleboshko. Kapara bakatosko polokotosh. Shika para bakapala gata. Zekete legada bala gadosh. The sea is over. Kala bala gada. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Because your activities is being seen again in the nations. Your workings is being seen again. You have outstretched your arm again. And when your arm is outstretched, there is victory. There is victory. There is victory. Oh, thank you, Father, because you are the one that causes us to seek victory. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Zaka kaka kaka kaka. Rebroko tondolo no mondo son to a la bala bala gado. Shila bala 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 Bible says, and when the thief is found in Proverbs 6 at one, he shall take again and release double fold what he has taken. This same hour we declare a rings again, a rings again. Kari bala 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 gadon dos kopa la gada zia la bala 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 gados ah sué ah sué ah sué barondos barondos siege of bewitchment go in the name of Jesus siege of bewitchment we come against you this same hour thank you Father oh we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. Thank you, Jesus, for the finished work of the cross, for the victory you have wrought against the pranks of the evil one. We exalt your name. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you, Father. I feel the Lord. I feel the Lord calling us to pray for the healing of nations. The healing of nations. Yes, yes, yes. The healing of nation. The healing of nation. Oh, there is a healing anointing right here. I feel the power of God so heavy. I feel the power of God so heavy. We're going to pray for healing. Let's. We're going to pray for healing again. For healing again. We're going to pray for healing. For healing again in the airways. I don't know what what, what is siege of that sickness. The siege of that sickness. The siege of that sickness. Oh, thank you, Father. I come against cancer. Cancer. By the fire of the anointing. By the fire of the anointing. By the fire of the anointing. Let cancer be roasted by fire. You cancer, I come against you. You growth in the body. Be roasted by fire. This same hour. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for, for the healing. Thank you, Jesus. I come against anything that is called a sickness and affliction. Bible says affliction will not rise the second time. By the power in the name of Jesus, receive your healing. The siege of sickness, the siege of sickness disappears, disappears, disappears. Rise and be healed. Thank you, Father. Every complication of sickness kidney failure kidney failure we come against you we come against you die by fire insomnia insomnia we come against you in the name of jesus pain in the very region we come against you in the name of jesus growth in the body mysterious implants of darkness in the form of sickness be frushed away be frushed away be frushed away Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for the healing. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Pain in the head. We come against you. Cataract, glycoma. We come against you this hour. Evil imprints of the evil one as a siege. Dissolve this same hour. In the name of Jesus, siege of unfruitfulness, siege of barrenness, by a prophetic word, be dissolved in the name of Jesus. For Bible says, be fruitful and multiply. You shall come with your testimony again. Every seed of unfruitfulness, be it marital unfruitfulness, be it barrenness, be it career unfruitfulness, by the power in the name of Jesus, such siege is over. In in the name of Jesus, you siege of endless, of continuous rebel without productiveness. We come against you. We come against you. We declare this same hour. The works of your hand is blessed. Whatsoever you do, receive the anointing. Receive the blessing again. Such siege is broken. Thank you, Father. Even in this season, my father, men shall favor you from unexpected quarters. Help us shall come. Help us shall come. The mercy of God shall speak. He is the great physician. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Shila bababababo shata. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. Let's worship him again for what he has done. We exalt your father. We exalt your father. Oh, we have the name of Jesus again. We give him praise. We give him praise. We give him honor. Shandala bala 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 bala. Zengala bala gada shakapala gada. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. Thank you. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God for what he has done. Praise him again. Praise him again. Thank you for remitting again the plans of the evil one. Thank you, Father, for fear. Yeah, fear has been taken away from the life of men. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Jesus. We hear you again. We crown 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 you again, Father. As the siege has been lifted and the siege has been taken down, we crown you, Jesus, as the prince over the nation. We crown you again. 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 We thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We crown you again. We crown you. We join the angel to enthrone you in accordance with Revelation chapter 5. Thank you, Jesus. We crown you because you are worthy. You are worthy. You have redeemed men again from the agendas of the evil one. We crown you again. We crown you again. We crown you. Thank you, Jesus. Be crowned again. We crown you again. Receive all our praises. Thank you for ransoming us from saving us from the fall. Thank you for ransoming us from saving us and delivering us again from the siege. We shall come again to thank you again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We crown you again. Kapo Robo Zegadele. Thank you, Jesus. Be exalted, Father. This time, our we declare finally, as this is lifted, the bondage will not rest, will not enter again. Even if the strong man plans to bring the bondage again, the strong man head has been crushed by Jesus. In accordance, finally, with the book of Genesis 3, verse 15. Be thou exalted, Father. We praise your name. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. And amen. And amen. Thank you once again for joining us again for this prevailing prayer broadcast. This El Shaddai hour of prevailing prayer broadcast. Thank you. Be blessed. Remain strong. The Lord is with you. Do not fear. Greater you see that is in you than he that is at work in the world. The siege is over. God bless you.